Thanks for joining us with Bob Shots Travel. Come travel the world with us. Time to see where we're headed next. Today we're going to explore some beach clubs, restaurants, and things to do around Puerto Morelos, a surprisingly chill beach town on the Mexican Caribbean. First stop is next door at the Diving Lodge downtown. It ended up being a regular hangout, not just because it was close by, but the people were cool, good food and drinks, and reasonable prices. This guy's a Mexican Hermes dog, which is a unique breed to the area. Here's our favorite bartender, Jesus. Hola, amigo. We also really liked My Paradise Beach Club, a little bit more lively place that was up the beach between our place and downtown on the north side of the square. They also had great food. Check out the chicken quesadilla and a great happy hour. Every night we'd walk into the downtown area near the square and have dinner at one of the numerous restaurants, including Tonino's, a recommended spot. Coming out of My Paradise Beach Club, down to the place next to us which is called the what is it called the downtown something diving lodge downtown I have a lot of trouble with that miles gets it because he's a diving lodger here's the whole family on our balcony at Casitas Blancas walking through the diving lodge downtown on our 10 to 15 minute walk into town which we did every night and always found a great place to eat Lots of good local, high quality handicrafts and artwork. I took the drone to downtown during the day to fly around, including this close call with the lighthouse. Past the new lighthouse is the symbol of Puerto Morelos, the old lighthouse. Flying out from downtown, you get a good view of the reef and the waves breaking at the edge far offshore. direct overhead shot and you can see the lighthouse right at the top. Puerto Morelos has been an important port for a long time. It used to be the place in Mexico where they would harvest chicletes and uh, export them. Chicletes were the main ingredient in chewing gum before they came up with a synthetic alternative. As you can see there's a breeze blowing which is pretty typical of Puerto Morelos and can make it fairly comfortable even on a hot day. Most of the restaurants are open air but they are covered by a palapa or some other kind of shade and when the breeze blows they're quite comfortable. To the left is La Serena restaurant, which is a Greek restaurant with a also a broader menu. Uh, it's a good place to eat. We ended up eating there a couple times, and uh, it's got a nice view if you're there during the daytime. And turns a little bit more lively some of the nights. Click that Bob Shots button on the left to subscribe now and see more from Puerto Morelos, including the world-class snorkeling and diving. and our travels around the world.